Hey, I'm Brandon, and I am here to introduce the May Mickler Beer Mailbox. I've got a really nice box for you again this month with 10 beers instead of nine. We uh, found some extras, so we decided to throw it in for you. Let's uh, start tasting with the ramen yuzu. All right, for those of you who have been to our ramen taburu restaurants, you might be familiar with this beer. This is ramen beer with yuzu. It's a really nice Belgian ale with yuzu juice added. We gave it some deluxe uh, beer mail and beer club packaging, now in 375s with tin foil and a redesigned label. Looks really great. Let's pop it. Kind of a dark amber color in this and a lot of yuzu on the nose. Uh, yuzu is an Asian citrus. Um, kind of like lemon, but a bit sweeter. A lot of yuzu in this batch. Uh, I believe we added a bit more this time, and you can really taste the difference. Um, kind of has a dry finish, but it works really well with the sweetness and the acidity from the yuzu. Next up, I have one of my personal favorite new Mickler beers. This is the newest version of Shalek. So it's Shalek 14. Uh, it's a pale ale hazy with Citra, Lemon Drop, and Idaho 7 um, hops. So we're using some newer hop varieties in this. And I honestly really enjoy this beer. Um, I have a fridge full at home. Uh, just great summer uh, sitting in the sun beer. Really nice, light, hazy color to it. A lot of juicy hops on the nose. And it's just so damn smooth, 4.8%. Uh, so you're not gonna get wrecked drinking one of these. Um, really, uh, really bright, floral, juicy. It's a really nice pale ale. Definitely one of my favorite new beers. Every year, uh, May is super important and exciting to us because it is NBCC time. And every year we do a new beer. This is the newest version of the NBCC beer. And uh, it's really nice. It's a Berliner style Weiss beer with calamansi. And calamansi is a citrus uh, fruit from the Philippines. We've never used it before. Uh, we sampled the juice and the puree. It tasted really good. So we made a beer with it. Mm. It's really good. You get lemon and orange peel. Uh, it's really fruity, really juicy. Um, not in a hoppy way, but actual juice. Um, I think this is another really good spring, summer, sit in the sun beer. Really refreshing, good stuff. Next up we have another uh, premium packaging beer for you and we haven't made this beer in a while. It's one of the classic Mickler beers. We've got Big Worst, Barley Wine, aka Life. Let's crack it. It's the caramel color you're looking for in a barley wine. Sugary, malty nose. You can really taste the uh, candy sugar in here. It's really nice. Uh, deep malt, fl malt flavor. Um, not much bitterness at all. Really good beer. Also, it's 14.4%, so you're definitely getting your bang for your buck on this. And we do have plans to make uh, the big Worcester for an upcoming box, so keep your eyes peeled for that. All right, next up is the extra beer in the box, and this is Pony Power Pale Ale. This was made specifically for DjangoCon, uh, open source conference held in Copenhagen. Beer we brewed especially for that. Pretty cool uh, label. Honestly, I don't know the meaning of the flying pony, but it's cute and the beer tastes good. Mm, smooth, easy drinking. Some nice bitterness to it. It's really nice pale ale, 4.6%. Enjoy. Next, I have another new IPA for you. This is Blowout, a dry hopped IPA with lemon drop, Centennial, and Simcoe hops, 6%. This is a nice break to the haze. Uh, there's some classic IPA bitterness to this uh, with a malt backbone that's not too pronounced, but you can still taste it. Um, really well balanced. I really like the bitterness at the end. Nice change of pace. 
We've been working on a really cool project with the Danish uh, grocery chain Irma. Um, they have some of the most recognizable um, typography and iconography of uh, retail stores in Denmark. This is a hazy session IPA at three and a half percent that we did with them. It's a, if you're familiar with the chain, it's a really cool label because it has Henry with the Irma girl. Uh, looks really nice and you'll be some of the only people to receive this um, outside of the grocery store. All of the rest is just being sold in the store, so you're lucky. Really a floral nose. Very smooth and easy drinking. Another really nice uh, warm weather beer. Just, uh, yeah, super easy to drink. Another brand new IPA with uh, some really fun artwork from Keith on here. Splat. It's a 6.8% uh, IPA. Mm, really nice. Uh, really full flavor. Again, there's some bitterness to it. Um, nice malt backbone. It's not, uh, it's not super juicy. It's uh, more of a classic style IPA. Um, really, really a clean flavor. Good stuff. We have a brand new hazy APA here. Heated seats. More uh, really great artwork from Keith who's just been killing it lately. Mm. ABV on this is quite a bit lower. It's 4.9, but uh, the mouthfeel would never, uh, never suggest that. Um, based purely on that, I, I would guess it in the six range. Um, it's fruity, it's juicy, really nicely done beer. Another cool project we've been working on is our first shandy, and it's an organic shandy with lemon and lime. We made this in collaboration with a tattoo artist in Berlin. Um, she also did the artwork for the front. Looks really cool. Definitely on my list of tattoo arts to visit. Let's taste it. Oh, that's refreshing. If you have family members, loved ones, friends who don't like beer, maybe try with this. Three and a half percent. A lot of lemon and lime. It's almost like a, uh, it's almost like a Sprite or a Faxacondi. Um, and at three and a half percent alcohol, I mean, it's close to really tasty stuff. Another great summer beer. Enjoy. That's it for the Maybox. Uh, hope you enjoy. I know I did. Hopefully uh, see some of you in a couple weeks at MBCC.